Certo, se você quer que você tenha que ter o seu lado, se She didn't say not yet. I didn't. Well, this is, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't see. Okay, I got this. Well, this, according to Samsung, is an active iPhone process of becoming aware of choices and making decisions for a more balanced and fulfilling life. It's the ability to live life to the fullest and maximize personal potential in a variety of ways. Uh, well, this places responsibility on the individual and requires constant self evaluation and assessment. It involves continually learning and making changes. And it combines the eight dimensions of well being into a quality way of living. Yeah. So, we have... <laughs> All right. so, we have the eight dimensions of wellness here, uh, which are physical, intellectual, emotional, social spiritual, occupational, environmental, and financial. Um, so any of these, you can like, speak to you, are these, are any of these able to, like, you know, all like, say, practice these things? Yeah. Okay, yes. Um, spiritual. Okay, awesome. I, physical, because I like to move my body every day and make it so that I'm active, which helps my mental health.
right? <coughs> so um, the next picture I have here is a picture of me in the softball team, right? Every Friday night, I treat it like a religion, okay? Every Friday night on the sober softball night, I show up, um, and it's very important to me, and it's a social connection, and the people, again, my new family, right? It is, and it creates this dynamic for me where I get to show up um, and be very proud of the people that I connect with, and I give opportunities for people that have never um, had that connection before either, and give them that space to have a safe, sober environment. So that, to me, is also important. So that's another part of my social dynamics that I've got to choose to be a part of um, in my recovery. Um, and over here I have um, some peers and coworkers and people that show up for me every day in my life. Um, and I'll get off the screen now. But um, so again, a social connection, right? Um, that we get to keep value for recovery. It's a social connection. It's something that I'm proud to be a part of. It's also part of my occupational uh, dimension of wellness because I'm proud to be there. I'm proud of where I work and I'm really excited about it. Um, as you can see, we're generally pretty good here, right? Because we're making cheese and making connection and we're proud of what we do. So I um, ended up here I'm on the helping and inspiring and getting to sit and connect with one of my uh, co workers and watching her get an award here at the hospital of my team. You know, again, friendship, emotion, connection, occupation, and all of those things. So social really deeply connects me to all of these dimensions of wellness. Um, and so finding that one dimension can really help balance, for me anyway, that is what's important for me, and that self-care piece. Really finding those people that help connect me to all those other like, different dimensions. Um, and that's what I'm really passionate about, right? It's finding that things that work for me, because so that way I'm not overextending and finding the right people that give back. And that's what's part of my self care. Uh, for me, um, in my recovery, I really had to understand what was going on at a you know, cognitive level. And so that got me more into the intellectual dimension and, um, you know, kind of got me really curious about about myself and about you know how I can go about my personal recovery. Uh, I started you know like a lot of us most likely you know finding rooms, trying to figure out which you know fit would, would be for me. And so you know I was always told just do this, just do this, just do this, and then you know none of that ever worked for me. So I really had to understand what's going on in my brain, why I was this way, and why my friends were. Well, we have a couple of years to be fine, go home where that was not my situation. And so, um, so really what, what that came to me was books. I, I had to really understand what my brain was doing, why I was having these feelings, and why I was suppressing them instead of letting them come. And so that brought in the mindfulness piece and the gratitude um, and compassion it really changed my perspective on things. And so with that intellectual dimension and that component that I, I kind of had a face on, you know, kind of based my recovery on, um, led to many other facets of life. So spiritual became very important. I was very, you know, curious about mindfulness and gratitude. And I even kind of experimented and said, okay, well, let's see if this actually works. I'm going to try this for a couple of years, I'm going to bullshit. Know, and I'm gonna go this and pretend that you know positivity is the greatest thing and holy shit it worked. I you know did it for like three years and uh, all of a sudden my whole demeanor changed, my attitude became a lot more inviting and attractive and so um, yeah just understanding that our brains are neuroplastic. We can change the chemistry in our brains to become different people and to really understand that blew my mind. And so, um, yeah, so that led into, like I said, spiritual, environmental, um, different connections through all these different dimensions that we can then, you know, explore and kind of organize in a way that makes sense to us. So. Slide, please. <laughs> Making have looking at something else too. <laughs> Two screens here. <laughs> okay. 
or it's self care to you. Um, as a CPSS, it's our primary obligation and responsibility is maintaining our own recovery. Um, self care is an essential piece of our recovery and maintenance. And maintenance. Uh, maintenance. Okay, here we go. <laughs> self care is non negotiable. Um, yeah, really, though. Um, and I know in my own personal experience, I have really lost myself serving others, and I was talking about this earlier, right? Like, how do we take care of ourselves? How do we find that balance? Um, and so we are actually going to talk about that. And please. All right, so the benefits of self-care. I mean, there's so many in this one, less than six or so, probably doesn't cover it all. There's many benefits that we won't touch on. But as we have sports, these are definitely some big ones that we should focus on. Keep in mind as we're doing our jobs um, in anywhere. It's not going to be any type of uh, setting or environment. So, so max, maximizing our effectiveness and productivity in the workplace, that's a huge one when we're you know, doing good things, taking care of ourselves, we can definitely help others. Uh, enabling CPSS to be a positive role model for the peers with whom they work. Um, we're more effective when we deal with stressors, emotional intelligence, right? We're able to regulate how we act and behave when we're, you know, faced with coping skills. Um, maximizing the appropriate health boundaries in the workplace in order to protect the CBS, CBSS and the peer from harm. There's, you know, a lot of different situations we get involved in and how, you know, our kid and so, that's a big one, always being safe. Uh, clarifying our goals. How many of you are answering your phone after hours sometimes? Way <laughs> hey, Now we just got to take care of yourself sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I'm just wondering. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, you have to separate <laughs> where you work and where you live. Just to be able to touch one out. Oh, no, 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 no. Three, 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 three